carefully, please, folks. Thanks, Cody. All right, so, can I ask you all just to make sure, please, that you put your title in your day-to-day -day books? Or we call it something like, can you fix it? Something like that. Today's date, and my initials, which are ABN, today's the 13th, all right, the 13th to the 10th. What I'm you to do, there are six lines of code here. Within this program, there are a series of errors. Some are what we call logical errors, some are syntax errors, and some are just good old fashioned grammatical errors. In your day to day books, I want you to write out this code and I want you to underline where you think there's an error. Just underline where you think there's an error. And then later, at the side, identify if you think it's logical, grammatical, or syntax. And if you can, fix it. So there's going to be quite a bit going on here. All right? So I'm asking you to do three or four different things, which I know is a big ask. I'm going to put it on your screen so you don't have to keep looking up at the board. So I'll take over your screen so you guys can see. And then hopefully, we're going to ask and see how we're getting on. So I'll put it on your screens now. Hopefully you can all see it. There we go. Thank you very much. Now, I'll make this big screen on yours, big screen on mine. What I want to do then, like I say, is copy it out, and we're going to work through it line by line. All right? Now, all you need to do in the starter, just to get us begun, when you're writing out, is just underline where you think there's a mistake. All right? So this is why I'm asking you to copy it out. Underline where you think there's a mistake, and then at the end of that line, identify what type of error you think it is. If you can fix it, brilliant. However, don't panic too much if you're not quite sure how to fix a mistake or two. But there is every type of mistake in there. Yeah, I just need to write this out now. And be ready for that. Okay? I'll help you out with the errors if you're struggling. So the first two will go through them in a group, and then you might be in the key, all right? Okay, so what we're looking for, line by line, where you think there's an error. If you can fix it, amazing, but I want to identify the type of error. Logical, syntax, or good old fashioned, Mr. Brown can't spell and write. All right, so on your screens if you're struggling, I'll give you about two or three minutes. And then we'll have a look how we get on with the first couple. Okay? I'm not expecting it to be done by any means. You don't have to have it done in the next two or three minutes, but you might have made a start and we'll go through the first few. Dean? Uh, Alright, you don't need to be done. We're going to have the first couple. Alright? Just to get you started, figure it out. Line one. Oh, love that. First thing straight away, noted. No speech marks, Gareth, well played. So we noted no speech marks. All right, what type of error is no speech marks? Ewan? Syntax. Syntax, terrific, well done. No speech marks would be a syntax error. That implies the program can't run beyond that because you're doing something the Python didn't expect you to do. So it should be a syntax error on line one, no speech marks. There's another error on line one. Elijah? Um, the capital on print. Love that, well spotted. Print, cannot use a capital P. So there's two errors, both of them will bring up a syntax error. So line one, syntax, spotted on the two errors, that is brilliant. So we can fix it really quickly, we change that to a lowercase, we add our speech marks here and here, and line one is then functional. So our next problem then jumps down to line two. Go ahead. <coughs> is there a spelling mistake? There's a spelling mistake, really good, which would bring up what type of error? Uh, grammatical will come later because I'm going to show you where it comes grammatical. But it would actually bring up a syntax error because more than why. What would this command do? Nothing. Nothing at all. Terrific. Well done. Where's the spelling error then? Input. input. I've got input. Very good. So it's input that will bring up a syntax error because there is no input command. There is an input command. So that's a correction there. Any other errors on line two? We're quite happy with that. Yeah? Happy with that? Cool, no other errors. I'm going to move down to this one then. Line three. Be a good spot. Dean? It's missing the equals and the 
I've not necessarily missed an equals. I could make it better by using equals, but I have missed something. Colon, excellent. Who said colon? Jesus, well done. Yeah, I missed the colon on the end. To say I've finished it. This is a control structure. It needs a colon on the end. There is another error there, though, but you have to read the rest of the program to have an understanding of it. All right, so I'm going to pause there and give you a few minutes on that with that little note. There's another error on line three. We've got a syntax error because we missed the colon. Dean's 100% right. But there's another error here. You have to read the next few lines to have an understanding about this next error. Have a minute, read through it, think what it's supposed to do, and that'll give you an indication about maybe what that error is. All right? Dean, thanks for having your hand up. I'll come back to you in two minutes then, okay? I'm just going to give you a chance to read through the program. So I'll give you about a minute. Read the rest of the program and think, right, what is it supposed to do? And where's my error going to be on line three as well as the code I'm missing? Have a think. Okay, so I'm just going to pretend now, give you all a little chance to look through it. I'm going to pretend now that we've fixed it, we've added the code on, so we're functional up to this stage, all right? What's going to be the error on line three? Go on, William. Very good. My test is looking at things that are greater than 20, but I'm going to write you are younger than 20. What sort of error is that then? It's a logical, William. Very well done. Yeah, logical error. Because this will still run, but it won't run the way I want it to. Because I'm actually looking at people older than 20 rather than less than 20. It's really good. Um, right, next one then. So, line four. Line four is a tricky one to spot. Ewan? Fantastic. I need to indent. Because otherwise, look, everything's on the same column. We need an indentation to say, if this value is true, if this test is met, do this. So we're missing an indentation, so it'd be another syntax error. That's really, really good. Really good. Um, else, any problems? We're quite happy with that. Quite happy. And the final one, print. All right, now your job is then, can you get that functional? And can you have a go at actually making it work in online on compiler? So I'm going to let you go over and tell the IT. I'm going to give you the screens back and see if you can use those notes from your day to day to make it work. All right? Your screens back. I'll leave mine on the board with all the errors. Can you get it working? Thank you. Dean, sorry, yeah.